is a reality, arguably the safest modality, it produces sound waves, and records reverberating echoes to the 10 mega. Vacuum. Intensity is proportional to voltage change. With lower frequencies, deep lying structures are found. Now enlighten me about this love story. How does it apply to ultrasound? He was a voltage oscillated it all. Sonic imaging is wickedly fast, recording 33 frames per second in real time. Cheap, non-invasive, and portable, plus it makes blood flow measurable. Poor, soft tissue contrast, obstructing bones and gas are some are some are some weaknesses of this imaging technique this imaging technique this imaging technique I never want to hear you say that I want an MRI ultrasound is the best Coming back on the same track and transducers in the way to convert the sound wave and electrical computer signal. The time and distance are proportional. The echoes make an image, image. Echoes make an image, image. A mode is in one D. Please believe a single pulse due time versus amplitude. And mode is many A's over time displayed And B is a 2D array of many different angled A's The echoes make an image Image Echoes make an image Image Dollar stenography makes me happy Cause it allows me to measure the velocity Of blood flow, whether it's high or low Moving that transducer all over the place Singing we will measure your blood flow Blood flow We will measure your blood flow Blood flow Moving the transducer closer relative to the reflecting interface Results in a phase shift a Doppler shift, cause it's wavelengths are shrinking all over the place. Singing, we will measure your blood flow, blood flow. We will measure your blood flow, blood flow. Doppler is displayed, color overlaid in blue and red colors on a black and white page. Given the frequencies, the angle and the sound speed, somebody better solve for the velocity. Singing, we will measure your blood flow, blood flow. Singing, we will measure your blood flow, blood flow. Everybody, we will measure 
your blood flow, blood flow. We will measure your blood flow, blood flow. All right. Ultrasound. Every now and then, sound waves get a little reflected and refracted around. Ultrasound. Every now and then, they get broken and transmitted and reflected waves. Ultrasound. Every now and then, the angle of reflection and refraction depend on the impedance of my ultrasound. Every now and then, I take a look at my baby through a screen display in real time. Ultrasound. Real time. Now let's dissect this topic in the parts. Ultrasound. Real time. Now let's dissect this topic in the parts. Reflection causes echo generation when sound encounters different layers of tissue. Impedance is dependent on a multiple of factors like the density and sound velocity. Compressibility. Also known as K is equal to the product of rho and the value of 1 over C squared. Next we need to know that another equation for impedance is equal to the square root of rho over K. From here on, it's plug and chug. Now let's dissect this topic into parts. We sound real time. Now let's dissect this topic into parts. And we need the intensity. And we need it more than ever. And if we only knew the impedances and the angles of incidence and transmission, we could find the coefficient for reflection and for transmission. Together we can solve them by the end of the night. I've been conducting ultrasound for all of my life. All of my life. If you don't know what to do with an unknown soft tissue, just assume its velocity is 1542. We really need it tonight. Transmitted pressure is equal to incident plus reflected pressure. Once upon a time, bone's impedance was high. Waves were all eclipsed by the bone. Also called shadowing, Some parts of the image are dark. Ultrasound, real time. Ultrasound, real time. Ultrasound, every now and then I see imperfections in the medium causing scatter of the beam. Ultrasound, every now and then I see mediums of different seas causing more refraction of the beam. Ultrasound, Every now and then I see this happen when a non-orthogonal beam undergoes a change in speed. Ultrasound. Every now and then this event is known as bending and everybody hates it. Ultrasound. Real time. Ultrasound has four basic parts. Ultrasound. Real time. Ultrasound has four basic, basic parts. The first part is the pulsar. It sends out pulses more than ever. And the transducer creates an echo Or else we'll be standing around forever The transducer receives the echoes Which are converted into voltage signals that are in need of being analyzed the Receiver interprets the data in just a matter of time Matter of time The memory unit helps us see the 1D output in 2D You can display your baby kicking on a plasma TV I wanna see it tonight. I wanna see my baby tonight. I wanna see my baby tonight. Now waves over time they will attenuate because intensity's falling apart. There's nothing you can do in an ultrasound scan of the heart. Once upon a time energy was diverted. By reflection, scattering, and absorption. Nothing I could say. Exponential decay through my heart. Exponential decay through my heart. Exponential decay through my heart. Through my heart. Heart, heart, heart. Decay through my heart.